Moon sets out, her stomach growling and definitely ready for a meal after not having all of the food that she needed after hurting her leg. She sits looking out, wondering where all the elk herds are. She sniffs. Not really picking up on any elk herds. She's hoping to find an elk herd with a calf that she can hunt. Something small, something easy. Her leg is still hurting her, but it's feeling a little bit better. She's at least able to lope around on it. It is slowing her down a little bit, but more so where she just can't run for as long as she normally can. If she can't find an elk herd, she will just hunt rabbits for the day. She picks up the smell of an antler. will not fill her belly though. She smells lots of other female dispersals in the area. Some bison. She's definitely not willing to take on bison today. Another antler. Right now her focus is trying to fill her belly. There's another rabbit down here somewhere. So that 20 minutes ago. Oh. We're zigzagging. There it is. She darts off after it. Easily catching it. Rabbits will probably be better for her to focus on for today since her leg is still pretty sore. An elk calf could be bad news for her if she gets clobbered by clobbered by the hooves of the mom again. Is that the same antler we just found or a different one? And an oak antler. Looky there. There's antlers all over the place. Picks up the scent of another rabbit and follows that. There it is. She's happy to be able to run again today. She's happy that her leg is starting to heal. Still not healed enough to be using it though. Another rabbit. Also going all over the place. Mm. 
Mm. I'm further away from it. Nice den. Not a rocky den though. I'm not even sure. She might not even stay in Amethyst Mountain. She might travel to Slough Creek. She hasn't really decided yet. But she is all about adventure, so... She would be one to travel and go somewhere where she hasn't been in a long time. I think I'm going the wrong way again, yep. has it in her sights and darts off after it, sinking her teeth into it. And there's another one down there. Rabbits aren't her favorite meal, but they certainly feel her belly. And thankfully there are a lot of them around this area. I just passed something. There's the trail. This way, I think. Should be seen it any minute now. Where is it at? There it is. Her stomach almost full. Looks like she could use one more. Sniffs the air, trying to pick up the scent of another one. That is very faded. Pretty sure that's the one she just ate. She hears wolves howling in the distance and answers their call. more dispersals howling around her. Again, she's a bit curious. She does oh, another antler. Or the same one we just found again. Who knows? <laughs> we are kind of in the same area. She's 
curious if she'll see any of the dispersals in the area. She picks up on the scent of some males. Runs into a herd of pronghorn and a rabbit. She'll go after the rabbit for sure. She also spots a bear up there. She's curious about these males. She wants to go check them out. Looks like they're in the direction of an elk herd. Her belly now full. She no longer needs to hunt. And she won't. She doesn't want to risk making her leg worse if she doesn't have to. Those are females. Females on the males might be courting each other, who knows? If so, the females might chase her off. The male... Pahaska dispersals? ago might be a ways away. She spots the elk herd. Wishes that she could hunt but makes the right decision not to. She continues following the trail of the males, still not ready for a mate of her own, but she is a curious wolf. She runs right up on him, a little closer than she meant to get, got a little carried away with her nose. She sticks her tail up, showing her dominance, even though she has a hurt leg, which she's a little bit embarrassed about. Confident tail wag. Seeing if she'll get a reaction out of any of them. Very curious about her, but not really interested. This one is very standoffish and keeps trying to make more distance between them.
This one did a little play bow outer. It's got kind of similar coloring to her. Feeling tired and knowing it's not time yet, she moves on. Off to go find a place to rest for the rest of the night. Her belly nice and full. She'll let her food digest. Let her leg feel a little bit better. Maybe in the morning she can do a real hunt. She'll have to see how she is feeling. She spots nice rock and a tree. She chooses to call this home for the night. Feels nice to rest her leg. It's definitely sore from chasing the rabbits. She wakes up the sun now up. She can feel the heat of the day. She's still a little tired, but she's ready to start her day. She sniffs the air, curious what all is in the area. Smells a moose. Some pronghorn and more male dispersals. She's curious if it's the same ones from before or not. She thinks they smell a little bit different though. She also picks up the scent of an elk herd. She's not super hungry, but she definitely misses the hunt and is ready to hunt again as soon as she can. Smells like the dispersals are also in this direction, so maybe she'll go lucky and get to check them out too. Just depends on what she comes across first. Will it be the elk herd or the dispersals? Here's the elk bugling, and there she spots the herd. Something seems to have spooked them before she even got there. Looks like these two bull elk are getting ready to fight. Maybe, maybe not. Don't think so. She catches up with the herd. They're definitely very spooked, so those males we're probably already chasing them. Her leg's slowing her down, but she hopes that she can have a successful hunt.
My leg tires are out much faster than normal. Can't quite catch up with them. One circle back. She latches on. Oh. Making it take a tumble. And it also hurt itself. She's tired. She's out of stamina. Ouch. She gets kicked. Very tired, worn out. But thankfully she has a successful hunt and it was a cow elk instead of a calf, even better than she had hoped. And we've learned to hunt. satisfied with herself. It was not looking good there at first because she was so slow. But she managed to bring one down. Her belly now full. She decides she's going to stick around this area and feed off of this carcass until her leg is completely healed. And maybe look around for a dispersal. Like, look around the area and just kind of stick around here. Right now, she is tired. Her belly is full. And she's going to sleep. Oh, well, maybe not so close to where there's competitors. Alright guys, and we're going to end there. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging with me. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Remember, you can leave a comment down below if you'd like. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, bye bye